Today, we're gonna to construct a Hebel power fence. Now, the first thing you need to do is set out the job. So grab a string line, run it through to exactly where you want your power fence constructed. Then, you need to dig the holes. Now, you also need to check your soil. If it's pretty solid soil, you're looking at about five to 600 deep for your hole. But if you're not too sure, then you need to get your soil tested and then you can extend the post with an extension and then you can get more depth into your soil to create a lot stronger post. When you're putting your post in, make sure you're about 1850 to 1860 high, then that'll allow a perfect amount for when the panels go in, gives you your distance, then you won't have to cut the tops of your posts. The good thing about using quick set is if you do more of a dry mix and you can pack it in, you won't need braces. Plus, it'll go off a lot quicker than concrete. Another quick little tip is you're working 1885 from centre to centre. But what you can actually do is from your last post, hook it over, and you go from the outside of the post to the inside of the post. And if you've got 1885, that's the same as centre to centre. So once it's in, you can double check it from centre to centre. Very important, 1885. The next stage is to get your panels in. Now we use this specially designed cleat. Best position to put that in is measure from the top of the post, 1805 down. That'll give you the position. We line up that mark with the bottom of the cleat right there and screw it off with tech screws. Couldn't be simpler. Inside the cleat is actually where the main support is gonna be, so it's very important to fill every hole on the inside of the cleat. When it comes to the other side, you've got to make sure you throw the other cleat on first. That will then set you up for the next panel. You just drop that down. This cleat goes on. This cleat goes on level from the other side. And then you can adjust this side to whatever the ground level is. And remember, if you do make a mistake, you're using screws. You can just simply unscrew it, get it correct, and screw it back in. Should be as simple as dropping it into the cleat. Now for extra support, as you can see the top's wobbling, use one of the cleats, drop it straight over, fully supported. Good tip with the power fence is to lead with the lower bracket only. The top ones are really just there for support. Once you get everything in a position for the perimeter, then you can screw it off and get ready for the next panel. To get good contact between the Hebel panel and your adhesive, it's a good idea before you screw off the top brackets, is just to rasp out a section so it drops in, then your bracket, becomes nice and level. When you've got step downs in your Hebel panels, if you are gonna be pretty close to the ground or if it's gonna sit on the ground, it's probably a good idea to give it a quick coat of waterproofing just to seal the bottom of the Hebel panel. Now we've got the corner panel in, we throw our cleat in just to make the panel nice and steady. Now the beauty about using these cleats is you fix off the bottom cleats first with all the screws, then you drop each cleat straight on top of each panel with your adhesive. Once it's all up and finished, then you just screw from the outside. With the Hebel adhesive, you want to mix it to a just nice creamy consistency, like runny porridge. Once the adhesive is on and you're ready for your next panel, a good little tip is throw a clout through the top of the cleat. Now that'll grab the bottom of the next panel and just make it a little bit easier.
You can give it a little tap down with a rubber mallet or just use your hand, but also just jiggle the cleat around a little bit and that just squares it up nice. Then don't forget your next cleat. Just to make the panel a lot steadier. When you're doing your Hebel power fence, you've got a couple of options when it comes to finishings. If you're gonna go more of a rendered look, then you wanna drop the panels directly on top of each other. But if you're gonna go more of a paint look, then it's a good idea to give yourself a bit of a V groove by using a rasp and just running it across the top. It all depends on the look you're after. When you're following sloping ground, you can see that your panels might have a step. So what we need to do, we just cut out the hebel. It's aerated concrete, it's extremely easy to cut. Then our bracket will then slip down and hit the post. Now that all your panels are in, we just screw off each cleat either side of the post. Do it right across the whole fence and then it's all secure. All right, panels are in, cleats are in, everything's screwed off. Now we just get the Hebel compressed sheets, pre-drill, about four screws is all you need, straight into the post. It's gonna actually cover the end of the post and the cleats. You put one either side and then one on the face. Then you're ready for your top caps. When you screw your sheets, you wanna be flush with the top and flush with the end of your bracket, not the post. We're just gonna do the same on the other side. And now we've just got the end panel to go on. Next step is to throw your Hebel top caps on. Get some construction adhesive, do a five mil bead, cut it to length from bracket to bracket and just squeeze it on. Another quick tip when you're doing your end caps, sometimes it can be awkward to hold onto it, so just use a clamp. How easy was that? The last thing we need to do with our Hebel power fence is apply the pier caps. It's as easy as throwing a bit of construction adhesive onto one end, pre-drill a hole. You wanna line it up from both sides of the end so it's all square and throw one screw straight through the cap. That's one cap. Now we follow the same process on all the posts. Remember the little piece I cut out from this end here for the bracket? Well, I'm actually gonna use it to infill the internal corner. And it's as simple as applying a bit of construction adhesive. Pushing it on top of the cap, and then we'll put our capping piece here, and then it's ready for the top cap. Covering the post in the middle of your fence, it's a piece of cake. It's looking great. Now that we've got our last cap, remember, bit of construction adhesive. And if the two ends are out just a little bit when it comes to being level, then just use your Hebel adhesive, pack one end, and apply it to the block you put in earlier. Remember to get it nice and even between the two end caps, and now you're pretty much ready to sand and coat. What you wanna do, you wanna go over your joins. You wanna give your whole fence a bit of a light sand just to take off any loose particles. Then you want to go out and get yourself a quality exterior texture coat. Just like painting, use a small brush, cut in all your edges. Once your edges are done, it's as easy as just rolling it on.
Well, there you have it. A great quality, solid Hebel power fence. And it looks fantastic. And the best thing about it is you did it yourself.